Hey everybody. This is something that people need to know. Uh, this, a lot of evergreens sort of slowly move out into the pathway. And if you just trim them, they end up looking wrong and often dead on the outside. You can't prune evergreens back to wood that doesn't have branches on it. So what you have to do is you feather them back, start at the top because you don't want to undercut. If I start here and take everything off that I need, I might end up undercutting it, then it doesn't get enough light. So I'm taking it back to a side shoot and I might do this in little stages. I'm also gonna get right in there and take off a few big, actually, I'm gonna take that whole thing off now. Um, take off a few big branches um, and big is a, a relative term um, in this case. So you can feather this back and it might take a couple of years to be honest to get it back into shape because it will put out new growth. This one's particularly ornery. Uh, it will put out new growth to compensate for what I'm pruning off. And then I'll have another place to take it back to next year. Just something a little unusual that people see. As long as I have a side branch, I'm okay. Um, that people don't really know about. And now I will work all the way down. Mm. There. and then this guy back to here and so you see already we're starting to move back into the plant you never want to leave stubs uh, and by that I mean growth that doesn't have mm, uh, leaves on it or shoots a good pruning job doesn't look like you did anything which is an unusual thing to say but we used to joke that we guarantee your property will look almost as good as when we leave as when we got there, but shorter. Um, it shouldn't be obvious. So I'm always looking for things like this that um, about a quarter of an inch is what you do want to leave. Um, branches like that that I can take back a long way. Now, now I just work my way down the side here. Taking it back and back and back and back. Cool. Thanks, gang.